Hey guys, how are you today? We are here with another page for Mission Inspiration for May 2021. I am the mission controller in the group this month, and um, I'm the one who's come up with the mission. Now, as has been stated by me in the group and in Mike's video, I chose the colors that I did and the message that I did for a couple of reasons, but one of them being that May is my wedding anniversary month. Uh, Bob and I met in 1984. Yes, 1984, that was a long time ago. Um, we got married in 1991 and our colors were purple and teal. And um, I'm gonna put some pictures here, but here's one that I printed for to put on here. Um, I was going to insert some wedding video footage here. Now, um, we have a VHS videotape of our wedding. I don't have a VHS player anymore. Um, those videos are currently off at a transfer service to turn them into something digital. I actually have a stack of videos I'm going to be doing. Um, I did have them put on DVD years ago, but when I haven't had these open since we moved, and when we went to pull them out and try to play them, we realized both of them are cracked. Yeah, there you go. So they won't play. I do still have the... Um, VHS tape though, so at some point I will maybe put a few clips of that on my YouTube channel towards the end of the month, but it's going to take about three weeks to get done, so it won't be ready in time for this video, but I will be putting some um, shots from the wedding here. Um, some of these people are no longer with us, including um, all of my grandparents and uh, Bob's father, and uh, we miss them all dearly, uh, but we were very glad that they were around uh, at the time of our wedding celebration. That was very special. So that being said, um, our message this month is finding the light. Uh, even in times of the harshest stress, there is always a bit of light. One must just be open to seeing it. Now, I did sort of print a copy of um, and I'm just now finding there's some printing errors on a copy of my original mood board um, for this um, that I want to paste over here along with the mission and the photo, sort of like this. There'll be artwork on this side. Um, I'm going to reprint that, and I also will explain these in just a second. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, reprinted and cut, and we're ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is put sort of our reference mood board materials on the left side, and then I'm gonna create a little piece of art on the right side. Now, I do have some paint picked out. Um, these are matte acrylics um, or gouache, acrylic gouache, which is just matte acrylic. Um, I prefer to use these in my art journal because I don't have to worry about the pages being sticky afterwards or coating them with clear gesso or waxing them or anything else because matte acrylics or matte um, acrylic gouache don't stick to each other when you close your book if it's dry all the way. Um, I also have some markers because markers are one of our ingredients. I have um, a clock face because clock, this is an actual clock face. Yes, I have a drawer of clock parts. I know it's just weird, but um, so this is our clock part that's on our ingredient list. Um, I also have found objects, so these literally are found objects. So these are dried foliage and floral and fauna from walks or bouquets people have given me or leaves from the tree in our driveway or... So these are literal found objects. So that's going to be something that's going to go on here. And I will, if I need to glue things down, be using either a matte gel, again, so it doesn't dry sticky and shiny is... Shiny equals sticky, at least in my book. Um, so we'll be using a matte gel, and we'll be using a glue stick, and this little picture is self-adhesive, so. Um, so let's start off with getting everything attached to this side. Actually, let's start off with putting my reading glasses on, shall we? because that's a good idea. All right, so first I'm gonna trim, I don't know why my printer um, printed this with that part at the bottom, but that's okay. We'll just trim it off because that'll fit better on here anyway if it's a square. 
So the first thing we're going to do is glue everything down. And generally, if it's just paper, <clears throat> I use just Yoohoo. I found it's easy. I also have a pencil, by the way, in case you didn't see that. Um, it's e the Yoohoo is easy. It um, isn't too wet, so it could, um, you can get thin papers on there without it getting too wrinkly or anything. Just is a very painless process for me to use a glue stick. Grab an old gift card to push it down and make sure I got glue everywhere, which I didn't. So. So make sure all the edges are down. Okay, there we go. And then we will get our picture down. Now while I'm doing this, these little pieces to my right are um, scans of vintage office labels. So I do have original vintage office labels in my stash of art supplies, but they're too big. Um, and so they're vintage Avery labels. And so I scanned a few of them and then shrunk them down and made them smaller and printed them on label paper. So we're going to be using these um, on our page. Labels are one of the things on our ingredient list. So, but the first thing I want to do is I want to get this clock face on here in the middle-ish. Um, I wasn't sure where I was going to put it and I saw that Mike Deacon put his right in the middle and I, I like that idea with a little bit of a different twist. So um, this is a little bit thicker than just your standard paper and it's very plasticky. So I'm going to use the matte gel for this to get this on here. Let's see, I need a palette knife. I don't normally talk through these. I usually just give you all some kind of a speed through, but I just thought this month was kind of different. Okay, so that's on there really well. So now we're going to take our labels, I'm going to set that aside for a minute, and actually I need a black pen now that I'm thinking about it. I'll use a fine point Sharpie. This is a really refillable fine point Sharpie. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. There we go. So on each one of these labels, I don't know if I'm gonna use all these labels, but on each one of the labels I put on the page, I wanna write a positive affirmation word because our focus is finding the light, right? And I know life in general can be very stressful, but especially when you're in the midst of a global crisis and pandemic, right? So um, we are going to write down positive affirmation words or a, word, a single word that evokes a bright spot um, that we have discovered because of current situations, lessons that we have learned, good things that have happened, um, uh, for those that don't know, my mom is sick, and um, it's not a great situation, but even in that situation, there are good things that have happened, and one of those being that for the first time, literally, I think ever, uh, my siblings and I are actually being civil to one another. That hasn't, I don't think ever happened, to be honest with you. Um, we do have our moments where we... Uh, backtrack on that but for the most part we've been very civil civil to each other and um, are helping my parents and pulling together for the first time ever as a family so that's a good thing there's always a good thing to be found so I'm going to speed forward through this process a little bit and I'm going to figure out what my words are and I'll be right back
Okay, I lied. I put all, I filled them all up. Um, the only one I'm not sure I spelled the word right was cooperation, but we're gonna just leave it. I am kind of known for not spelling very well. Um, so now I'm gonna stick all of these down, which is gonna be fiddly because I like have no fingernails. Um, but we're gonna peel the little backings off. And we're gonna stick them all around our clock face. Picking them up is gonna be challenging. And then once we have that down, I'm gonna do an initial pencil sketch of my design before we get in there with markers and paint. And I think I'm gonna add the found objects last. So let me get all these words stuck down here and I'll be right back. So now we're going to do a picture, um, yeah, a sketch, pencil sketch. I almost said picture sketch, but that's not what I meant. I'm just going to do kind of an outline of what I think that I want the design to be. The pencil marks for the most part are going to be covered up, so that's fine. I just kind of want kind of a guide. Okay, and you probably can't see any of that on camera or very much of it because um, it's very light. All right, so now we're going to go in with markers, I think. Are we gonna go in with markers or paint? That's a really good question, isn't it? Let me figure out what I'm doing and I'll be back. I'm gonna go in with paint first, I think. So I have this sort of light gray. Gray is one of our colors. This is a warm gray. This is a Blick Matte Acrylic. And I'm gonna start with this as like my base. If I can get more of it out than that. Okay, there we go. And I think first we're gonna go in with a tiny brush. I don't wanna have this be so opaque that you necessarily can't see the words <clears throat> through it. If you're worried about covering up the words too much, you can always bring them back, or you can do this with um, sort of a baby wipe in one hand or a rag to wipe some of the paint back. Now, if you seal the stickers or label paper with some kind of like matte clear coat, it's easier to do that. some white. I just want a darker gray color. And I'm going to put out a little bit of the purple and the teal. Now for the sake of this page and argument, I am going to use 
the purple as my shadow color to suggest shadow and darkness and this one as my highlight sunlight color <clears throat> you'll understand what I mean in just a minute we're gonna just I'm not gonna clean the brush I'm just gonna kind of do that I'm gonna mix these two together Here with some markers and do some highlighting more mark more mark making refining our figures our marks our shapes our message if you will this is a permapake pigment marker this is a metallic purple this challenge is um, a good one for me to get out some of these markers that I like never use. I have this giant Copic wide marker in black, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. Uh, this is gray. Gray is one of our colors. This happens to be a dark gray. I think I'd rather use this one. permapake in black, which is a thinner tip than a super wide Copic, and more opaque um, because it's permapake, opaque pigment marker. I'm thinking I want to add some of this. Cross your fingers, it, I don't hate it. Okay, I want to put some flowers on here. I think I'm going to put, there's some baby's breath in here. These are all flowers I've dried myself from things I found on evening walks or uh, the kids will bring me uh, occasionally bouquets of flowers and I'll enjoy them for a few days and then smash them between some books. <laughs> uh, I did tell them I do that. I told them don't be mad, but you know. Okay, I want to tone down that center part just a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out some of the white. I'm going to take the little brush and I'm going to take this little tiny, this is like a soy sauce dish. 
and take some of the white, like a tiny bit of the blue, the tealy turquoise color, and then some water to thin it. And I just want to push this back a little bit. I know exactly what I need this to say, so let's get a scrap of paper. Will this work even though I wrote on the back? It might. Let's get a clean one though. I've got plenty of paper next to me. All right, so let's get our Sharpie back out. Okay, step out of the dark and into the light. And I think I want it to go there somewhere. We need to put our flowers on first. I might need to trim it up just a little bit because that might be a bit big. Yep, okay, so first we're gonna put the flowers on and I'm gonna use um, the matte gel for that. I usually use matte gel or sometimes I'll use tacky glue um, to glue foliage down is a bit of a tricky business. Let's give this a quick try first to make sure all that marker's dry. Okay. So I'm going to put some matte gel down on here and then we're gonna lay some of the flowers in the gel. Oops. And then kind of try to 
gently push them into the, the gel medium or glue, whatever you're using. This one doesn't want to stick. Of course it doesn't want to stick. Why would it want to stick? Okay. Depending on how flat your foliage is or isn't, will tell you how much of said gluing stuff that you need to use. sure all the flower pieces are pushed down into the glue, sealed in really well. Keep in mind this gel I'm using is matte and it will dry clear. I know it looks white right now, but it will dry clear. Okay, I'm going to dry that before I put the words on. Not dry it, but we are going to add our words on. Because of the bumpy texture now with the flowers and stuff, I'm gonna use um, more of the gel medium. I don't normally do that with my quotes, but I usually use a glue stick, but it's kind of bumpy now. And we're going to take our scissors and Trim these bits off that are sticking out. Okay, it's not quite dry yet, but I will put a still picture here. I love the way this turned out, better than I thought it was going to. Every piece of artwork I've ever done at some point, I look at it and go, oh, that's just really not going in a good direction. Um, and that's ugly. But usually if I work through it, I can find something I'm happy with or love. And I really like the way this one turned out. It definitely conveys the message that I wanted with this month's mission. I hope you find it inspirational and challenging, but in a good way. Even if the colors or the message aren't your thing, I hope you give it a try. Please do share it over in the group, the My Inspiration group. Uh, the link is down in the video description. And if you do a video here on YouTube, you know, maybe do a hashtag mission inspiration or tag Mike Deacon or myself um, if it's based on this month's challenge in your video description or something. Uh, we would love to see what you're doing. All right, that's it for this month. I will see you with a min mission inspiration mid-month mini mission. Or MIM, as I'm calling it for short. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for today. Please leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. Don't forget to check out that video description for relevant links, a link tree list of links for myself where you can follow me on social media. Uh, you can support the free content here on YouTube by shopping in my Etsy shop, becoming a patron over on Patreon, joining the YouTube community. Um, there's links in the video description for shopping my art foamy designs or joining up for the free, the free, it's not free, joining up for the class I'm teaching with Bea Grab and a, a few other um, talented artists here from YouTube uh, in June. Uh, there, all, of, all of that stuff's in the video description, so check it out. Uh, that's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.